And two new cases now in Santa Clara County, bringing the total there to 45. It is the Bay Area County hardest hit by coronavirus. CAMPEX finds Kit Doe live in San Jose with the aggressive steps now being taken to contain it. Kit? Yes, so San Jose Mayor Sam Licardo made the announcement today that sweeps of homeless encampments would be paused for the time being. The rationale is that the last thing you want to do during an uh, outbreak like this is uh, sweep up a lot of these homeless folks who may or may not be sick and then scatter them out to parts unknown. We also got a detailed briefing from Dr. Sarah Cody. She's the head of the Public Health Department here in Santa Clara County. She urged everyone to be calm, to uh, manage the chaos, minimize the chaos, so that we can all focus on what's important. I'm going to remind you again to not be sitting next to each other. If you can help it, just spread out. You all know that you're supposed to be doing that. Don't make me come and separate you. <laughs> all right. This is how the Santa Clara County Board of Supervisors does social distancing. Attendees of today's board meeting were asked to spread out, all in an effort to try and keep meetings smaller, shorter, and less dense. Dr. Sarah Cody said they are shifting strategies from containment to one of mitigation. This is all hands on deck. Um, this is an unprecedented public health challenge uh, for our country and certainly for us here in the county. About last night's legal order to ban all public events of more than a thousand people, it's meant to slow the spread of the disease so that hospitals don't get overwhelmed. It's much easier for the healthcare delivery system to manage one infected patient a day for 14 days than to manage 14 patients on the same day. Dr. Cody said four commercial labs will soon be able to test high volumes of patients, but... But there's a caveat there, too, when we're doing small numbers of tests that come through our public health laboratory system, we can gather a lot of information about everybody that tests positive. Once it's scaled and commercial labs are testing, we're not going to have that level of detail on the positive tests. Also, currently there is no test for so-called antibodies. Say someone was exposed and infected but never have any symptoms, there's not a way to know unless you look at their antibodies to see if they've developed antibodies. Without that, we can't really understand the entire spectrum. Dr. Cody said one of the toughest decisions has been whether or not to close large numbers of schools. She said there is no data to show kids are amplifiers of the disease and that the harms outweigh the benefit. The harms of school closure would mean that many parents of children cannot go to work. Many of those parents are in our health care workforce and other critical services. As for the ban on the large gatherings in the county, the, uh, Dr. Cody said that we can expect that to be a rolling 30-day ban. They'll make the decision on a month-to-month -month basis. We're live in San Jose, Kitto, KPIX5.